Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and uh, wearing a pink fluffy robe today. Guys, it's part of my haul. I usually don't wear what's part of my haul, but for obvious reasons, I actually have not taken this off since I got it two weeks ago. Um, okay, so you look here and you're like, God, that's gorgeous. Boom. The bottom also has little frills. Oh my god. I guess it's not feather trimmed. Like, I guess it's more fur trimmed. But I love it. The fur is also so soft. And the, oh, the robe is just so cute. I've got on a little silk pink mini dress underneath. Because obviously, what else are you going to wear with a faux feather trim? Well, nothing. I did get it in a bigger size than what I would normally get. I'm a size small. I believe I got it in the size 12. So it'd be an 8 and then I got it in a 12. I think I wish I got it in my actual size. Like, it is quite large and quite oversized. But I kind of like the way it, like, falls because of that. Like, it's a bit more like, ooh, off the shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, and then I should probably show you guys the back because it's gorgeous all around. Every single angle. Gorgeous. Actually, I kind of had this weird, almost, it's not a rebranded moment because these things have always been very Michelle. Uh, but I've had this huge urge to just like pastel up my wardrobe and it's still winter so it's kind of like hard to pastel up a winter wardrobe but I did my best and because of that strange urge to spend money I just realized that I totally said in my last video that it was no spend February so oh no I'm eating my words this is why I can't say it on YouTube guys are we mad no it just means that maybe it's no spend March Anyways, I went ham on the pastels. The pastels? I went ham on the pas... <laughs> Why can't I say pastels? <laughs> and went ham on the fun patterns. Guys, I feel so me. I've never felt more me in my fashion than right now. And I'm still trying new things. I'm still discovering so many new things. But I think the thing that held me back from wearing what I wanted to wear, especially when living in a small town, has entirely dissipated. So I'm at a really great time in my fashion life. So for that reason, I guess I'll get into my haul. So before I really go into the video and show you the rest of the haul, I do have to say that T-I-J-N, I am not sure if I should pronounce it like T-I-J-N or T-I-J-N. Gonna ignore that. But T-I-J-N sent me some glasses oh my god to have glasses sent to me with my prescription floored they also sent me some colored contacts i'm not going to show you the colored contacts in this video i will show you them eventually i just did my makeup and don't want to accidentally get some mascara deep in my eye because i'm not very good at contacts so what's awesome about tijn and their glasses one is how pretty their packaging is even their glasses cleaner says life is art on it so i did get two pairs one pair is some normal glasses that are actually my now my everyday glasses when i do need to wear glasses just because they're so cute oh i can see wow huh that's what life looks like. They're so vintage. They are so 80s. They are like Barb from Stranger Things, except I would be a better character than Barb from Stranger Things. They're square. I actually own a pair, my normal glasses before these were a pair of like rounded, very big glasses. I'm such a fan of big vintage glasses. I think they just cuten up a look a lot. So these are them. So I just grabbed a pair of these classic like cool girl glasses. They're a pair of like Ray-Ban style glasses. I look cool! <laughs> she says, uncoolifying herself instantly. They're such cool glasses. They seriously frame my face really nicely. Um, and they're very high qual- they're very high quality glasses. These are not the sort of glasses that you throw in because you are at Ardeen's and just need a pair of glasses for the summer. Like, these ones feel like luxury sunglasses. And I'm very lucky to have been given them. Okay, so I did buy from quite a few different websites this month just because there were so many things that I wanted from so many different places. So I will do them in segments of the sites that I got them from. So since I've already showed you my first one, which is from Boohoo, then I will show you my next item, which is also from Boohoo. Guys, it's this huge long sweater. It's almost robe-esque because it does fall. I believe they're called uh, maxi robes. Uh, it does fall like all over me. It is pretty much just like a robe that you would wear when you get out of the shower, except for the fact that I wear it at work or I wear it out. This paired with like jeans and just a plain top can be just a simple, very simple statement look, but it's also just the comfiest thing. I think 
Having big statement pieces like these, but mixing them up with like plain things underneath can just be such a way to class up a look and make it and claim it more as your own. Um, so that is why I love this. Also, I work in a cold office, so I love this even more because then I can just feel like I'm wearing a blanket inside of it. The material is a very, very soft uh, material, so I am very happy with this purchase. I've been searching for one of these for quite a while, and I didn't know what color to get, but I think I'm very content with the white. Okay, and this is the robe from Boohoo as well. So soft, so comfy. Uh, you can kind of tell just how far it does fall. It really is um, a blanket. It is lathering yourself in a blanket, but for some reason it looks classy and beautiful. Also, I find it really funny that the two pieces I bought from Boohoo were the silk robe and then this because I was wearing it. I showed my roommate uh, what I bought and she's like, you are literally the mother and the daughter in one. You are the big little lies drinking a tea, watching, watching the surf go in. Um, and then you are also her daughter who is rebelling against her. Okay, next I'll show you Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal is one of my favorite stores. A lot of it has to do with their style, but a lot of it does have to do with the whole, like, girl boss, uh, Sofia Amoruso, Amoruso, if someone correct me if I pronounce her name wrong, um, and just how she started out with selling her vintage clothes online, and now she is CEO of Nasty Gal and owns Nasty Gal. Big dream of mine, so I am very biased, even though they sent me a pair of defected shoes the other day. It took a while to send the right pair back. Um, I still love them, so. So the first thing I got from them is this baby blue cardigan. This is where you can really see, this is where you can see the pastels coming in, I say. We're in a pink, silk, fluffy, feathered robe. Oh my gosh. So it's just this cardigan. Um, this is like that sort of winter to spring transitional piece because of the color and because of the cuteness. <laughs> I was a little bit picky because you can't see it when you're like looking at it from afar. But inside the fabric, there's like a twinge of this darker blue that's threaded through. And I don't necessarily love that. I wish it was all one color, but then I tried it on and it made my eyes pop, which I'll show you in a second when I try it on, or even just like this, that I was like, I need this. Like, I'm crazy if I'm being so nitpicky that like a thread is gonna take me away from my dream card again. Also, it's very hard to find things that are both cute, fun, and then practical for winter at the same time, so. Okay, can you see why after I hemmed and hawed, I decided to keep it? One, my little satin dress and this cardigan actually kind of make a cute outfit. I never would have thought to pair them together. Um, but two, it's just the color is killing me. Like, I just love, I love soft views. I, soft views and soft blues. I saw a TikTok the other day saying that a fashion trend this year would be baby blue and I was like, did I love baby blue before that? Or did subconsciously I just realize that it was a trend? But then again, if you look at the rest of my fashion, I'm sure I just genuinely loved baby blue before that. It's a lovely color. Another thing I bought from Nasty Gal, actually something I tried on and like sat in front of my mirror for like so long being like, do I return it? Do I love it? Turns out I love it. Turns out it took me going to my roommate and being like, do I like this? Uh, before she was like, of course, Michelle, of course you like it. It's this pleated skirt, but the blue of it is just sort of, sort of like a muted blue. But I actually love it because of that, because it's almost very like, I want to say 1940s. Um, and then I'll wear this with like a vintage -y kind of top with it. And then it makes it a bit more like a classy piece. Because I just love, I love 1940s. I love vintage fashion. And I just love the fact that I can take this piece and make it into something more unique. Um, I just love pleated skirts. You guys know that. I just love pleated skirts too. Okay, so not only is it more of a muted blue, like it is definitely not as vibrant as the blue cardigan I tried on, but it is more, it's longer than, I mean, I showed this to my roommate and I was like, it's so long. And she's like, are you kidding? <laughs> uh, but it's definitely longer than a lot of my pleated skirts that I do have. And so that's, I think, why I was hemming and hawing. But that's actually why I think I enjoy it even more. And then I paired it just with my Brandy Melville cardigan, just because it's that white with the blue, I think is very pretty, uh, very soft, and just like, just a bit of a classic little piece. Just, oh, may you want to do a little vintage photo shoot. Um, the next one I actually bought specifically as an outfit for Valentine's. Me and my flatmates had Galentine's last night, and then we're doing another Valentine's Day thing tonight. So I've got this red dress that has cute little ruffles on it. It's got teeny pink hearts patterned all around it. Um, and then the bottom comes down in little ruffles too. Is it the perfect Valentine's Day dress? Absolutely. Do I wish I posted this video a little bit before Valentine's Day? 
yeah. I also tried to get my lips red, and instead they turned very, like, magenta pink. So I understand that they don't really go with anything. That's okay. Uh, so I got this, this dress, and I'm gonna pair it, um, and I'll show you them together. I'm gonna pair it with this little cardigan. Guys, this is my first time I bought a cardigan with the little tie front. They're such a classic piece that came in this summer, um, came in wildly this summer. And they're such a classic soft girl piece, and I just, I love them. I don't know what took me so long to get one, and I really think that this, paired with like a bunch of little mini dresses, um, is gonna be such a staple look for me. I seem to not be dressing for the seasons, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it just means that I love my style so much that I try not to let it be impacted by uh, the weather. <laughs> saying that I do also dress for the weather I am not one of those people that like would rather be cold and fashionable I would rather be warm and ugly so I do have my ugly my ugly winter stuff that you if you see me on the street you won't recognize me so I'll first show you guys the dress before I put the cardigan on but guys you could really see just the ruching here little tie detail and then the ruching at the bottom as well it makes for the cutest dress uh, which is exactly why I did buy it for Valentine's Day. Also the hearts. Also, this is totally not something I would just wear for the one occasion. It is obviously a very beautiful dress and it falls really nicely at a perfect angle. Um, so I'm gonna pair with the cardigan and then show you guys the full look. So I will warn you guys, the cardigan I got in a medium. Um, if you can see it on me right now, I'm sure you would be like, that's not a medium. Um, and that's exactly it. I knew that Nasty Gal's uh, sizings for cardigans was quite tight, so I did end up sizing up in this one. But look at the little look at, oh, seriously. It's so cute, it's so innocent and cute, oh my gosh. Admittedly, shopping on ASOS is work, and you've gotta sit there for many hours and scroll and scroll and scroll until you find those key pieces that you like, but saying that, it just means that there's really something for everyone, not sponsored by ASOS, would like to be sponsored by ASOS, um, but I do think that ASOS has been a really good thing for me, especially moving to the UK. Um, I don't think it was very accessible when I lived in Canada, I think shipping took quite a bit longer, but now that I'm here, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so I'll show you what I got, guys. Guys, uh, look. Look. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this because of course I took this photo with, oh, I don't have them here, uh, my nasty gal, like, super high mint boots. This is so fun, so vintage and disco. Also, was the very last one in stock. I'm so sorry. Actually, I shouldn't tell you guys that. I will post the link for the dress, but unfortunately this was the very last one in stock of it in my size and I believe just in entirely in stock. It's insanely gorgeous. I feel like a disco queen. I channel ABBA when I wear this, so I love it. And the patterns, like, I seriously could have this as my bedspread and just be so happy with it because it's so, it's just happy colors. Like, you can't look at this and be like, Oh, uh, now I'm mad. Like, no, you're looking at this and you're like, this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I love this. I am now wearing it and really thinking about how I would wear it out. And it is a really good piece, obviously, on its own. It's obviously a statement piece. But I do have a pair of white go-go boots. Um, and then a pair it with a big white belt would just make it so... so vintage and so 70s. I've been really into looks that are from, like, 40s. 70s and 80s have been my vibe lately. Oh, I'll show you the back. It's got quite a cool back to it. Um, it's open a little bit and then obviously the sleeves poof out. I'm holding it really awkwardly so you can't see it the best, but I promise it's really cute. Um, and then it cinches in the waist with this little like ruched detail here that's like spandexy. Um, it's just really cute. It's just a beautiful pattern, isn't it? Actually, the next two dresses I got from ASOS, I did show you in my cottagecore video. They are this little coral, sort of embroidered, almost like a little church girl dress. That's what I've been calling it to myself. <laughs> that has these button down details and these little embroidered flowers all over it. Of course, I, I know I just showed it to you guys in my last video, but in case you clicked on this without seeing the last one, then obviously I'll try it on. So this is the little church girl dress uh, that I got. You can really see the embroidered details and the little embroidered dots that fall all over the dress along the back and the front. I really love the deep V of it that is sort of corseted and just these like vintage details on it. It is the little perfect vintage dress. And yeah, I don't really got much more to say about it. It's just cute. And then I also have this little Russian schoolgirl outfit. Did not know it was the is it the Soviet Union school uniform when I bought it? But do I love it even more because of that? Yes. It's also the darkest piece I have in this entire haul and the darkest piece 
other than black I have in my wardrobe. I've even been clearing out the black in my wardrobe. Guys, I want to film a closet clear out because obviously change of seasons, change of personalities, change of fashion wants, and I do have my online thrift store so of course I'd, I'm really lucky that when I don't want um, certain items I ve it's very easy for me to just sell them um, and then you guys love it because then you get some of my items. The only thing is with closet clear out is that I always get really motivated to do it when it's like nighttime, which fair, it gets dark very early. Um, so if you want to see that video, let me know and I will make sure to not do it. When it's when it's dark out, I'll make sure to film it with you guys. So let me know. It's getting, getting a little messy and overcrowded over there, so I am well due for a clear out right now. Oh, and then the next one I got, I believe actually the brand is Reclaimed Vintage. Yeah, okay, so I was looking at this brand on ASOS and I've been wanting to buy from them for quite a bit just because I really like their stuff and I like their style. So when I found this, I was so excited. I did read all the reviews said to get a bigger size. So I got this in a 12. I'm usually an eight or a 10 in UK sizes. Guys, look, it's such a pretty pattern. It reminds me, I swear my grandma has something in the same pattern. Um, maybe something not as short as this. She classy, but just this whole pattern screams to me like vintage. I am obsessed with vintage pastels right now, like so obsessed. I also only just learned of the site called Vinted. It's similar to Depop in that people sell their old clothes, but I've been able to really find some good vintage pieces coming in, so I may have to include those in another haul. But anyways, it reminds me of this one. This one um, was on sale, <laughs> seriously on sale. I think I got it for nine pounds, and I'm very happy with it. I just love, I love these pretty floral. I've never been huge on florals, but now suddenly I love them, but only if they look like grandma wallpaper. Okay, can you see what I mean about this being a 12 um, and having to buy it so much bigger? It fits very differently. It fits like there's quite a bit of room here um, and then it's kind of actually tighter on the arms for me, but the pattern so perfect. So pretty. Um, I love the little buttons. I think the fact that the button has a little space there may be a bit of a problem when walking, but seriously this dress is just it's so cute. Oh, this is making me realize just how much I need to clear up my closet for my new clothes because I just have too much stuff for a teeny closet in a very teeny room. It's already overflowing near my bed. I've just got a small room though. This makes it look worse than it is. This is a normal closet. And then the last item of my haul but not least is this pleated skirt. <laughs> Guys, pleated skirts. Favorite thing. That's no that's no question here. This color purple, look at my nails, has been my favorite thing recently. Also, just pastels in general are always my favorite thing, but I got a mug this color, got my nails this color, got a cardigan this color, um, and it just makes me happy. Look at that. I remember actually just unearthed a very deep memory in my brain of when I had braces. I used to always get this color, like when you would like pick your wires. I used to always get this color from my braces wires every time. They'd be like, do you want different ones? And I'd be like, nope, purple. So it's meant to be. Actually, the entire reason why I bought this purple H&M skirt, or H&M, as they say in the UK, is because I had a pink one, and then the zipper broke in the pink one, and I tried my darndest to fix it. Um, I did own the pink one for quite a while, so I wasn't that upset about the pink one breaking, but I thought it would be the same skirt that I ordered, but this material is quite different. The pink, uh, it was nice, but it was a very thick material, and this one is definitely more normal for a pleated skirt material. The other one was like a, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, so yeah, here's the purple, super cute. Just paired it again with my brandy cardigan, and guys, so cute, so cute. I just love this color. It really makes, it just makes me happy. Wear colors that make you happy and bring out joy from your soul, like this skirt does for me. Guys, is that it? I think so. Cool, so thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like this video, subscribe if you feel like subscribing. I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any requests for what kind of videos you wanna see, let me know. I am here for you. I'm here for me, because I love making YouTube videos, but I do also love your opinions. So if you want anything specific from me, um, especially like my cottage cork dress collection or anything like that, please let me know. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.